All right, no corny jokes here. Come grab some blue corn lager. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to the sunny Confluence Beer Garden. We're here in the middle of June. We're on the cusp of summer. I'm John Martin, co-founder, head brewer. I'm joined by... Daryl Michaels, one of the brewers here at Confluence. So what do we have today, Daryl? Today we've got the Blue Corn Lager. So what makes this special? Um, you're looking at it right here. This good old Blue Corn from New Mexico, which yeah. you know more about than I do. So I'll let you talk about All that right, for a second. All right, so it's, it's organic, it's heritage, it's open pollinated and it's it's just full of starch like um, a lot of the field corn that grows around us um, in the midwest is like a flat kernel has a lot of oil content you know that's a big thing um, that corn needs but also um, the starch for us is what we we're kind of like miners of starch right we yeah. turn it into sugar which we turn into beer so let's crack one open and then we'll yeah get into the actual good. how we make this beer right yeah this is Kind of a fun process and you know going back to the the old days of home brewing i uh, saw a picture the other day of me boiling a pot of this porridge on the on the stove top and you want to talk about the process daryl because you've you've had to do this right yeah so this beer is a little different um how we do our mash in um cheers first yeah cheers yeah, cheers um this beer is a little different how we do our mash in so the day before we'll mill all the corn and about 55 pounds, one bag of Pilsner, and we'll mill that in a higher temperature, and we'll let it sit overnight. It's called a cereal mash, and that'll sit overnight, and then the next day when you come in, um, the mash kettle's really cool looking. It's got this like really dark like blue yeah. tint to it. It looks like porridge almost, and then we'll actually mash in, and that blue just disappears then. Yeah. Goes away once we add all the rest of the Pilsner malt, some wheat malt, acidulated. Um, it's, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a grain build. It's a starch-based color. I think so yeah. when we, we convert that starch to sugar it just kind of disappears the other important thing that we do in that mashing process it's called a cereal mash and so typically we're working with malted barley but this is just like corn out of the field so what we have to do is expose that starch and we do that through heat yeah so we kind of like bloom up um, explode the starch molecules so that they're available to be Utilized and doing the, that, it does add a does add a little more sweetness and body to the beer as well with doing a cereal mash. Yeah, we boil it for about a half an hour, and so typically we're making 40 barrels of this, and we were able to get ahead on the first batch, you know, by doing that cereal mash. But then the next day, we're making the second one, and we have to do the cereal mash during the day, and it it just adds a little bit of time it's to a, the process. It, it's a busier day for a lager, but I mean the outcome is well worth. Oh my gosh. Well worth it. Yeah, yeah, it just has. We really try to balance that sweetness, uh, so it's, it's still sweet, but we, we give it just enough hops to kind of take it to where it, it's refreshing. Yeah, Saz, yeah. hops, and... Motueka. Motueka, yeah. Yeah, so the Motueka is in there. I mean, there's nothing late in the kettle. It's all like 60-minute hops, but the Motueka is a derivative or a, a lineage of the Saz hops, so it's kind of nice to pair it with that, but the Motueka has a little bit of that lemon-lime zest, and so I think that... Yeah, and it's sitting, uh, definitely sitting a little on the, the higher end for a lager for me, I think, but 5.9%. So it's like 6% and under for lager yeah. for me. So it's right at the cusp of that 6%. Oh, yeah. But yeah, great summer drinking beer. Yep. The inspiration for this beer came from Sam Kellyone with Dogfish Head. He wrote a book, and in that book, he talked about making this malt liquor, and it was released on the 4th of July, and it had red, white, and blue corn. And it was, it was way up there in alcohol, like in the 8 9% range. And he put it in 40 ounces with screw tops. So that was kind of like his little, like we're going to make a, and he served it in a brown bag. So people, <laughs> people bought it in a brown bag. These so, will not be in brown bags on Friday. They will guys. not. They will not. So, <laughs> so I tamed it down a little. It used to be in the 6% range. And then it was like, you know what, this beer. He dropped down one tenth. It's not that much, guys. 5.9% <laughs> to set of six. Is that what it says? <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were in like the 5.7 range, but. Nice. Anyway, you know, it's it's a summer quencher that'll it get is. you there in a hurry. So All right. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Follow <laughs> us on social media. We've got a YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Of course, come out and see us in person. You know, we have a, a beautiful facility here, a nice beer garden that plenty uh, of room on the beer yeah, garden. Friday night music during the June and July, so it's a good time.
Cheers. Cheers again. <laughs>